Hello viewers, welcome back. This is Dr. Abit. Viewers, in today's lecture, we are going to discuss about proptosis in animals. So, first of all, what is proptosis? Proptosis refers to the sudden anterior displacement of the globe or eyeball with entrapment of eyelids behind the equator of the globe. Here you can see the proptosis condition in dogs. So what are the causes of proptosis? Proptosis is most commonly caused by blunt trauma which includes being hit by a car during accident or fighting with other animals. Pathogenesis then how proptosis develops? It develops by trauma or first accident occurs in which globe may be displaced from the orbit or globe dis globe luxation which results in the eyelids and trip behind the globe to prevent to return into the normal position then other secondary orbital hemorrhage and swellings develop at the later stages and corneo conjunctival drawing and ulceration of the eyes followed which also prevents the globe to take its original place or reduction of the eye globe. Then what is the prognosis of the proptosis? It depends upon pupil size and reflective actions, then duration of exposure, other globe or orbital damages, breed susceptibility just like brachycephalic breeds are more prone to the proptosis and other systematic trauma. Approximately 25% of the dogs recover VN whereas the prognosis for cats is poor. While in other reference I found that approximately 50% of dogs re recover the VN uh, as shown in our next slide. So the prognosis depend upon extent of the trauma then how much eyes have been affected, the breed of dog or cat, depth of the orbit extending outwards or prolapsed outward, then duration of the prolapse of eye or proptosis, resting pupil size, condition of the exposure, keratitis and other periocular damage. There might be nerve damage or structural damages to the canthus of eyes for example, lateral and medial canthus. So, what is the treatment of prolapse of IR proptosis? First of all, we have to lubricate the eye parts and then lateral canthotomy and torsorephy is referred with 1 to 2 interrupted suture under general anesthesia by because eyes are most sensitive part of the body and enriched with sensory nerves followed by systemic and topical antibiotics to prevent from the secondary bacterial infections and mediatics. If maggots or meiosis is suspected and other corticosteroids as anti-inflammatory drugs and then remove suture if no more swelling is and Brisk blink reflexes returns usually within 14 to 21 days. Here an important point to note is that premature suture removal may result in the legophthalmia and persistent and often progressive corneal ulceration. So the suture material should be removed on time. This is the picture of the lateral canthotomy to ease in the reduction where lateral cancer side is cut down to reduce the size of the eyeball to place its normal position. Now the complications after traumatic proptosis. There might be blindness due to optic nerve degeneration, corneal ulceration may develop, enophthalmia, keratoconjunctivitis or white eye diseases or dry eye disease and then lateral strabismus 
due to medial rectus muscle injury so today's lecture completes here thank you very much for watching our videos hopefully you will enjoy and subscribe our channel for upcoming videos thank you very much and stay blessed